Russia has denied US claims it's days away from invading Ukraine. More Russian troops have been sent to Belarus and thousands of others are positioned near the Russia-Ukraine border. New satellite images released Sunday of Russian troops stationed near the Ukrainian border with Belarus. NATO says it is the biggest deployment there since the Cold War. Moscow denies that they are there for an invasion, saying they are conducting joint military drills with Belarus to defend its southern border. Ukrainians are not taking any chances. Volunteers training Sunday in Kyiv on how to use weapons and provide first aid. I am afraid for myself, for my family. I want to learn to defend myself and defend Ukraine. I want to be secure and not to be afraid of occupiers. The U.S., meanwhile, has begun sending elite troops and equipment to Poland to shore up NATO's eastern flank. But the administration says they are not preparing to fight a full-fledged war with Russia in Ukraine. More than 100,000 Russian troops are currently gathered at Ukraine's border. The White House has briefed lawmakers that a full-scale invasion could come at any moment. You know, I would say the conditions are there. It's more likely than not. I think the, the noose is being prepared. It's around Ukraine right now as we speak. While there's still hope for a potential diplomatic solution to the crisis, senior officials say they are prepared if Russian President Vladimir Putin pulls the trigger. We have been clear from the start about the steps that we are prepared to take, and whatever action Russia uh, undertakes next, the United States is ready. The U.S. has sent more than $200 million of military aid to Ukraine in the last two months, with some concerns that sending any more might provoke the Russians.